Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. As per usual, no idea what's in here, but we're gonna find out together. This package was sent by Unknown. <laughs> it doesn't say. Uh, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram, metal underscore complex. And also be sure to subscribe. I haven't been saying that enough lately. But if I say it, you know, for a while, people are like, oh, he said subscribe in a different place. Maybe I should check if I am subscribed, right? And then some of you will check and go, oh my gosh, I wasn't subscribed. Or, I don't subscribe because I won't, don't want the notifications to show up on my inbox. That's fine. Um, I would prefer it if you subscribe. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what is this idiot doing with this box? I'm cutting it open. Chill. Gosh, you don't have to yell. Um, yeah, and then after a while, if I just keep saying subscribe in the same place, you guys will, you know, it'll just be like my intro. Right? You won't hear it. But it's not for the people who've been here for a while. It's for new people. Oh, my gosh. This was extremely well packed. <laughs> Every inch of space was taken up oh boy oh cool we got some cool stuff in here guys hang on tactical peanuts okay there we go hey mc the blank is as received since i don't know enough about the blade material but the blank has been stropped as i tend to do with most of the knives that uh come less why is he saying blank because i don't want to ruin the surprise uh, I have no issues with the blank beyond the entire concept of the blade material, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm just editing, not to disrespect him, but just to savor the surprise. Um, okay, feel free to use both of them. I don't do much these days, so I don't really use my carry knife beyond cutting tape and boxes. Hey, welcome to the club. I can, I, I, would, I would venture to guess that about 50,000 of my 53,000 subscribers, including myself, use their knives for the exact same purposes, right? My knife usage has been reduced to unboxing other knives, which is funny because I actually use this most of the time. What do we have here? We have Spyderco, and we have one that uh, I've really, really been wanting to get my hands on. This is the Spyderco Tenacious in S35VN, which is a wonderful value. Um, this might just be the very best entry-level spider coat in existence. They have the other one that's less expensive for, eight, uh, it's like $57 for 8CR13 MOV. It's a good entry-level spider coat. And if you're on an ultra, I mean, like, as far as our options, right? I mean, people are going to be like, uh, there's always one guy that's like, even though he mentioned it, I have to force through this comment. My voice needs to be heard. I even, I have to leave this complaint even though he already covered it. Save your complaint. I'm going to cover it. The 8CR13 MOV version of the Spyderco Tenacious is obviously a little bit overpriced. It's been that way for a while. In its direct competition path, there are many other knives out there using better steels for the money. Ugh. This S35VN version is more expensive, but a better option. In fact, I would I would argue that this is a very competitive knife in the price point, you know, everything, right? Anywhere from the 30 to, what do these come in at? I don't think they're, well, gosh, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know the exact price of this. What is the price of this? Anyways, the fact that they decided to put S35 Vienna, I'll link it down below. I'll link it down there, you guys can go look. I can't remember what it is. I think it's fairly expensive, but considering what this is, right, it's still where I'd, what I'd call entry level, right? We have S35VN, we got a big old Dodge motor and a Honda body, right? Honda owner's going to be like, how dare you? How dare you? I said it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, we got a much more, um, you know, a, a blade uh, with a, a with much more potential, right? Well, actually, Hondas are really good at cornering, so it's not really all about power. Shut up. Uh, the blade material is definitely preferable on um, this Spider Coat Tenacious versus the 8CR13 MOV. I also like the blue uh, FRN. Still has the full steel liners, and they did do some weight reduction, right? It's got the um, uh, phosphor bronze, right? Um, I think uh, for a lot of people, this is going to be the ultimate choice for a first Spider Coat because. Spyderco is a brand that most of us walk into kind of rolling the dice, right? You're kind of like, eh, Spydercos are ugly and weird. 
I'm not really sure, but everybody just talks about how great they are, right? They're so great for EDC. The blade geometry is so great. I love them, right? You just got to give them a shot. Well, if you're going to roll the dice on Spider-Co, a lot of people roll the dice on Spider-Co and go, I hate this, right? And But they blew 150 200 bucks on a Spider-Co, and then they're just like, they have a 150 to $200 knife they hate. You can spend less money on something that's likely going to bring you a lot of joy, and you end up with a steel that makes a lot more sense in this territory in today's day and age, right? In this, in the knife world. So this is cool. How's the centering on it? It's all right. It's kind of like what I expect from a Tenacious, but the Tenacious model can easily be centered. Honestly, it can be centered in about one minute because of the construction. If you guys want to check out my centering video, you can do that. And the other one here, this is a um, Terrain 365 knife. And we got some oil. For a second there, I was like, you forgot to put the knife in it. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, this is the weird one of the, right? There's 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 a few different knife uh, models that Train 60, 365 has, but they also have this Mako, which is really interesting. It was one, at the time that I requested, it was one of the only Terrain six, uh, 365 knives that was available. What's so special about it? Uh, as you saw there, it's using Teravantium, which actually is not steel. It's dendritic cobalt. What's so special about dendritic cobalt? It can't, you, you, this cannot rust or can't, whenever I say that, when I say cannot corrode, people correct me because of the, the way that corrosion went. This is as stain proof as it can possibly be, right? It's not possible because of what it is. It's not steel. Um, and it also has a, an amazing uh, level of edge retention and apparently is not difficult to sharpen. So it's an interesting uh, steel. I'm not so sure about how I feel about this, you know, aggressively protruding area. It's obviously the guard, but I think maybe this could have been reduced to just a sort of rounded area and it would have been fine. Perhaps turned into more of a, you know, an area that made the um, choke up position a little bit more safe and accessible. A little bit safe. Is it more safe or safer? It doesn't matter. This You're not here for correct grammar, right? It's not a grammar channel. Um... Finish on the blade looks nice. My camera's having trouble with it. It doesn't really know. <laughs> My camera's like, what is this? <laughs> um, yeah, I like the harpoon notch. The action on it's great. It's an expensive knife, definitely. You'll have to go to the, uh, well, it might be available on some other retailers, but I, I found it on the uh, Terrain 365 website. Pocket clip's nice. We got a little backspacer back here. This area right here kind of bums me out because this is such an aggressive spot and they insist on it being right there, that my fingers, it's just barely, right? It's a medium-sized knife, right? It's just barely wanting to end up as a four-finger position knife. I really, that, that spot's really bumming me out right there, right? But the rest of it's great. I mean, you've got the, well, surprisingly, there's actually no steel lock bar insert. That's, that's okay. It doesn't necessarily need it, but there's also no over-travel stop. Yeah, there's no over travel stop at all. You don't want to do that. Don't do that. If, you, if you've got your own, don't push it too far because if you you unspring the, you know, the lock bar, if you get the tension out of place, they dial that in with the relief cut, then you're going to have lock up issues. Um, we're locking up uh, solid at about 20% and there's no lock stick and it's absolutely centered. Does this have, yeah, it's got an internal stop pin somewhere in there. Yeah, it follows the blade. You can see that. Does it? What? Where's the stop pin? Am I, what am I missing here? Oh, it's, a, it's, it's in there. It's just right in front of the, it's right in front of the bearing. So I couldn't see it. Okay. Well, anyways, that's interesting. I, I, I wanted to look at this one because it was another model using Teravantium, which is proprietary. I don't know if it's exactly the same as the other boy dendritic cobalt that's out there. Uh, but it's the name that 365 uses for their, their blend. Maybe it's just more of a branding thing. I don't know, but interesting. Um, I'll link these guys if I can. Um, very excited, uh, especially to look at the, uh, tenacious. Thank you again to the person who sent this in. Um, maybe perhaps it's actually in the note and I just didn't look at it. Uh, Yeah. And I won't say his name because he didn't put it on the box. Maybe he doesn't want me to say it at all. Anyways, thanks so much uh, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. 
Uh, if you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody, and have a great day.